with your CIG TV News update. I'm Donna Bush. First today, all government officials are on Kim and Brack for the first series of Legislative Assembly meetings held in just over a decade on the sister islands. CIG TV spoke with Premier Alden McLaughlin. It's important that Kim and Brack and Little Cayman consider that they are in included in, in what government is doing and that government is paying attention to them. I know there have been concerns expressed by, by some why are we spending this money to come over here? But it's important that, that we understand that the government represents the Cayman Islands, which are all three islands, not, not just Grand Cayman. And it is important from time to time, I believe, that the, the key business of government, the holding of cabinet and, and the meetings of the Legislative Assembly do occur in, in Cayman Brac so that they can feel included in, in what the government is doing. We have a number of, of quite important bills um, relating to the financial services sector. There are about about five really important bills um, dealing with everything from directorships um, right down and uh, a number of, of government motions relating to to um, development and planning issues and there are some private members motions as well I believe that we should probably get through the business in two days um, certainly by Friday we'll be through so I wanted to have this meeting rather than then put it off until the, the budget meeting, which is a much longer, much more protracted um, meeting. We can get through this business, uh, involve Kim and Brack, and then get back home and prepare for the budget. And we also spoke with Sister Island MLA, Mr. Moses Kernel and Governor Kilpatrick on the Brack Tuesday about the planned meetings. Oh, I think it's a great idea. I mean, Cayman Brack is a really important part of the Cayman Islands, so it's important that the Cabinet and the LA are here and people have the opportunity to meet the members of the LA, to meet the cabinet and we have the opportunity to talk to the people of Cayman Brack. Now we're very pleased to have the Legislative Assembly being held here. We believe it's very important for especially the school children, the young people to get out and, and have um, the opportunity to visit the LA in an easy way. So we're looking forward to seeing them on Wednesday and Thursday as well. Well, LA meetings started on the BRAC Wednesday morning and are expected to end on Friday. And you can listen live on CIG TV via Radio Cayman each day and on Radio Cayman starting at 7 o'clock each night. Well, all government ministers and members of the Legislative Assembly travel to Cayman BRAC not only for the LA sessions, but for regular Tuesday cabinet meetings as well. The Premier, Ministers, Governor, Deputy Governor, Attorney General, and Cabinet Secretary all attended a scheduled meeting Tuesday morning. During these weekly meetings, much is discussed about operating the country, finances, and items to be brought before the LA. Also, many new projects are taking place on Kim and Brack, and additional piped water lines is just one of them. Minister Kirkcarnell shared his thoughts with us on this particular project as well. Pipe water is huge. They, um, hats off to the Water Authority. Their, their trenches are here, their men are here, the pipes are being laid. They started on the west end of the island. So again, that's part of the infrastructure that uh, we believe uh, is needed, uh, brings a better quality of life. And, and it continues to give us the ability with infrastructure to attract more tourists and to build our back office industry here. Well, BRAC residents have not seen the water distribution system extended since 1991, but in November 2013, the Water Authority, who took ownership of piped water in 1996, started to bring piped water to more residents and businesses on the island. A four-man pipeline crew and equipment was relocated to Kim and BRAC. Two additional staff were hired on the BRAC to complete the team. Now, the present project comprises the installation of approximately 4,500 feet of six-inch pipe along Gerard Smith Avenue and 6,000 feet of three-inch pipe in the north side roads off Gerard Smith Avenue. Additionally, they say the existing water main will be replaced and upgraded to six inches. Water Authority officials say the existing pipeline situated within uh, the airport property will be abandoned as soon as the pipeline upgrade along the south coast has been completed. Now, this initial project comprises nearly four miles of pipelines. It's anticipated that the waterworks will be completed on the BRAC by July of this year. Finally, a reminder to tune into Radio Cayman's Talk Today show. That's weekdays from 1215 with your host, Sterling Duane Ebanks. And of course, you can watch the CIG TV News Update rebroadcast throughout the night or on our Facebook and YouTube pages. And that ends another news update here on CIG TV. I'm Donna Bush, as always. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.